drums. So we start with a simple kick drum. We add some drum bus, also some EQ by taste. And then we make like a ghost kick, which plays uh, rhythmically right with the kick. We also add a cue and saturation and also drum bus. Then we get the shaker going. We adjust the EQ just to make it a bit more nicer. We also add the auto pan. We can find it at first, but we don't give up. Um, you know, just adjust by taste, just trying to make it a bit more left to right, right? We add the hat and uh, we also adjust the EQ because it, this one was a bit harsh. We add some saturation. We add another 909 hat, like really basic. We adjust the uh, sustain and also uh, we add some random, <laughs> just uh, trying to make it a bit more organic, right? Then we add the 16th notes, we randomize those as well. And a lot of EQ as you can see. Then we add another hat which kind of plays uh, rhythmically with the other stuff. So this is all we have so far. We add some tambourines. And we layer that with claps. And also some compression and also a bit of saturation. Can only lead to death. Then we get the brass step going, which is kind of pretty, um, you know, Yoto. <laughs> Add some melodies. And we add some delay, saturation, overdrive, and also a and uh, Add the bass, and we have two saw waves, and uh, the cutoff, as you can see, is really, really low, right? We add some saturation again, some EQ, and some compression, sidechain compression, that is. Then we get the pads, right? And we actually have four different pads. Uh, the first pad is just playing one note. The second pad is playing the chords. And uh, the chords are A minor, E minor, and G major. We're in the key of A minor. I also added the B to A minor chord just to add a bit more uh, dissonance. And we also play with the voicings, as you can see, try to make it as lush as possible, right? Then we have another MIDI pad, which kind of provides a bit more meat to the whole stuff, right? It's also uh, one octave below. And then we have another pad, which basically goes around the moon, right? And this one is uh, playing in the break. And then we get the arps going, 
we have this first supporting garp playing just a really really simple rhythm right and we add saturation auto pan and delay and then also another arp right Then some uh, saturation again <laughs> and delay. And all together. 